Hello everyone, this is Stormy Cloud 21. Tonight, I wanna to show you such an amazing ship right before your eyes. You have the Havoc Marauder Micro Galaxy Squadron Series 2. Look at those figures. Wrecker and we have Omega right there. And there is that beautiful spaceship in there like a shuttle so amazing star wars love the packaging art lasers everywhere oh there's the havoc marauder down there of course the side of the packaging wow that is amazing absolutely gorgeous shot of the ship right there 360 degrees on these seats right here and then on the top looks like that oh my gosh here is the back of the packaging. There's a cockpit that opens, put the figures in. There's 180 degrees right here. You've got this beautiful hologram. See the back opens right there. You've got this compartment that comes off. You've got this nice collector's card blueprint right here. And then you've got ships in the collection. I have this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this, yeah. If you turn on the bottom of the packaging, you'll see there is that UPC right there. I can't wait to look inside to check this ship out and to show it to you guys. Number 42, Jazzwares Havoc Marauder. Let's go. I have to wonder if I am dreaming or if this is real and this is actually happening. Amazing stuff. I've had this ship once before in a smaller scale already. The Havoc Marauder is not completely new to me. I already owned it in this smaller scale. So you can imagine, I am thrilled to have it in this giant size now. Inside the packaging, you can see an asteroid. You can see Vulture Droid in there couple of them more than a couple of them a whole bunch of them here are the figures i'm gonna zoom in wrecker and omega so for one you have this really giant dude right here and the arms go up together like this and the legs Does this come off? I don't believe this comes off at all. Here's the other figure. Look at that little tiny figure. Same thing. With the hands going up. I can sit down like that. Today I had a plan. One destiny, one goal. And this is my prize. So cool, so thankful. I didn't expect this. Look at the engines, look at the color on the back. That is so gorgeous. Look at the gun turret back here that can move. That's amazing, wow. So I know that the back opens on this, this can open up. I don't know exactly how because I, there we go, like that. So you could put a figure or two in there. That's quite cool. It doesn't snap, but you can grab it right there, pull it out open, and then put it back flush. Yeah, that's, wow. So then there is, let's see, the wings. So I'm going to start to do the wings and they go together. Yes, just like everybody's been saying. And that's nice how they're out like that when you spread them out and then you wanna raise that, it's gonna follow, that's nice. So staying on the same terms with that and then You've got this nice cockpit 
right here you can see where you can open that. I'm gonna open that and look in there. Yes, beautiful. You can see how the figures would fit in there just nice and snug. And that closes up. And yeah, you can still see them through the windows a little bit. And it doesn't feel like they're gonna go anywhere. They're nice, nice and snug in there. So that's very cool. Very nice indeed. Look at the weaponry on that thing. So now, other things. The landing gear, I almost would have even forgot. But you've got landing gear right here. You've got some more landing gear. Gotta find it. I see some right here. There's some landing gear. And then here's the other one. The other one, it's kind of hidden. There you go. Look at that. Landing gear. And I love the detail inside there like that. I love all of this texturing. It's just so cool. It's such an amazing job on the ship. How would you not love it? All the little details inside there. So cool. I'm going to close this up again. Close it up. Because this vehicle still holds secrets. There are there is still there is still more involved with this vehicle, more than meets the eye. Because if you put this down, and you'll see right here is another place. And if you pull right there, now you can see inside and you have a couple of chairs. Rotate in the chairs. Actually moving the back makes it better to move easily. And then look at all that detailing in there. It's like a bed and there's where you can put the figure's legs on each side of that to hold them in the bed while they're resting in there. Let's try that. See this figure right here. It's gonna take some work. So if you put a figure in there like that and then have his, his legs resting on both sides of that, you can see how he can easily lay in that bed and that braces him somewhat. So he's not just gonna go flying out. Take some work, but you can kind of get them in there. So what you want to do is match this in here like this. It looks like it would go the other way, but it's actually different. There's your clips right there. You could backwards of the way you think that it's going to go. And then you go like this and you pop that in. So basically you can't, I can't, nobody can fit this big figure in the back of here. Big figure, really the only place that guy's going to go is this giant chair right over here. It's designed to fit there. Because these will be in the way. You can put him in there. But I just love the design. I just think this thing is so mind-blowing. Amazing. The fact that we have a shuttle-type aircraft, Star Wars. And that you can take this off. I haven't had vibes this cool since I opened the last similar ship, which was the Inquisitor uh, ship, which was very similar in compartments and stuff, design and stuff in some ways. I love the touch of the blue back here on the engines. That is just to die for awesome. That is just perfect. You cannot do better than that. That is, that's just perfect. And I love the way they designed the landing gear. I really do. It's just so Beautiful and fascinating how that opens up. I love how that is planned out. 
similar to the way they did like the um, Razor Crest in a different sort of way. But I think, yeah, they're really, they're really on to doing some really amazing things. Uh, the design of these ships and the way they're put together, how they hide the screws underneath, how they have all this texturing. I'm really amazed. They're really putting out some amazing things. And it's very fair, very affordable. It's very nice what they're doing. I just want them to keep it up. I know they're going to. I can't wait. I already know what's coming up next. But I can't wait to see how this future unfolds for us. With all these amazing new ships and reveals this whole last week for the future. That will be coming our way gradually. All the way up to like series 5 now. All the way through series 5 at least. You know. This is amazing stuff. So guys, this isn't all. I have some very other cool stuff coming up, including all of the colors of the Republic gunships. A review like that of all six. So that is going to be an amazing review coming up. So, I want to say thank you for watching this review. Please remember, hit that like and subscribe button. See more cool stuff as well as the notification bell. And as always, thank you for watching and talk soon.